with pleasure. You know, that's something you never heard on the old cartoon, you know? Laser beak, eject, operation, murder! <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh, hello! Uh, my name is Fu Manchu. Well, if you're tuning in, you'll notice that I played a clip from Transformers Dark of the Moon. Yeah, and if you're not tuning in, well, I guess you didn't hear anything. Maybe you were off having fun or something. I'm not having fun. I'm sitting here making a review. I don't know why, I mean, but look. There's not a whole lot to do here, and I'm kind of bored. But, hey, sometimes you get some stuff that you want to play with. And this is something that I received from Felsbog. Yeah! We were talking one day, and we were talking about the Transformers movies. You might have seen a review where we were re trying to review it before I got kicked off the computer. I don't know what happened, but I just disappeared. Sometimes I do that. You know, my time machine malfunctions, and the next thing I know, I'm in another time. It's usually still in a white-walled world like this, but it's a different year. Like, right now, I don't even know what year it is. I mean, I'd put a calendar up there, but... But really, I can't find one that I like. Usually with, like, squirrels or bunnies or something, but they don't make those that often. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah! Uh, Dark of the Moon. Yeah, well, me and Felsberg were talking about the Transformer Michael Bay bleh, movies. Yeah, Michael Bay, yeah. Hey, Michael Bay, if you're watching this, and I'm sure you're not, you know what? You're not very good at anything. I mean, sure, you can, like, totally, like, hold a camera or tell somebody directions, like, hey, that would be a very good shot. Yes, you're right. Your movies are very pretty, and that looks very cool, and you have an artistic style about the, the movies that you make. But your direction sucks. Yeah. I, you know, as an actor, I can tell you right now that if you don't tell a bad actor or even a good actor what to do, honestly, they don't know. And they're over there going, I guess I'll just do it this way. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Think about it. I was directed in a play to play it very much like this. I am Fu Manchu. Now think about that for a minute. Seriously. That would not have worked, especially in a comedy, right? But then, you get bad actors, and you know, seriously, bad acting consists of this. You're either really bad, or you're a decent actor, because you can say a line, and you can emote, and you can cry, or you can do whatever, but you're still a bad actor, because you don't know how to make it look, I don't know, believable, or realistic, I suppose. Even in a comedy, it should be realistic a little bit. Because if you just go out there and go, Hey, fellows, here is a joke. Ha, ha, ha. It's not funny. Think about that for a minute. Now, most of the Transformers movies, those guys in the movie have very big egos, and they got to ad-lib a lot. And if you watch some of the uh, supplemental, you know, extras and stuff on the discs, you will see people like, um, uh, what's his name, who played the computer tech nerd guy going, I wrote that, and you're welcome. And it's like, it's not funny, though, man. You gotta understand, it's just not funny. But, you know, for everything they do wrong, and that's usually with the human actors, ugh, um, seriously, I, I mean, I just gave up and just started looking at Megan Fox and said, you know what, hey, she is kind of cute, and then I started liking her, and the next thing I know, now I like Megan Fox. So, hey, Megan, call me. I'm not doing nothing. Look. I got nothing to do, so call me. Anyway, sometimes, though, they do do something right. Do do ha. Anyways, sometimes they do stuff right. And one of which was Soundwave. Yeah, he's nothing like the cartoon. He's nothing like the toy, the original toy, where he's like a little tape player or anything. Um, but the character they created, or at least, I don't know, made up a little bit, I still liked it, you know. Uh, is it the real sound wave? No, it, it's like a variation of sound wave. This one's like a stone cold killer. I mean, wow. But I did like his design. I liked his Doctor Claw or whatever voice, because you know Frank Welker did that voice um, for for the original sound wave. They just synthesized it or whatever, and you can hear it sometimes as a screw up on the cartoon. So they kind of kept that kind of a voice. I don't know if Frank Welker did the voice in the movie. I need to look that up. I'll probably look that up later, but I, I, as of right now, I don't know. But I like the way he looked. I like the way he, um, he uh, acted, I guess, is the best way to say it. And I like the way he transformed into a really fancy car. Then, you got Laserbeak. I did not like his face, 
And did you notice that a lot of the Transformers drool a lot? I mean, what is their fascination with drool? It's like, I'm a bad guy, I'm drooling, and I talk like this, I'm a bad guy. You know, I mean, seriously, bad guy characters uh, in, in plays and in movies don't know they are bad. They don't know that. They think they're good. They think they're actually good guys. So bad guys really don't walk around going, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, blah, blah, blah. Think about it. Hey, I just gave you an acting lesson. So there you go, everybody. Now you can act as good as I do, which I hope is a lot better than this. I hope I, hope I act a lot better than my reviews show. But it is a character, and I'm staying true to it, so shut up. I really don't know what this review is about. I've talked for five minutes, almost six, and I don't know what I'm talking about, but I will say this. Felsbug is more in the uh, camp of he likes the movies. He, he admits they're, you know, they're just popcorn movies and stuff like that. We would have gotten into this in the review if I hadn't been kicked off. But, uh, you know, he, he likes them for what they are. And I, on the other hand, can argue against a lot of stuff. I just, bleh, you know, because a lot of people like them. And I think I don't like them as much because other people don't like them. Plus, when I saw the movie, I felt like blowing my head off because, you know, think about that. Little doll brains everywhere. <laughs> they, were, they were that bad. I guess I just because I like the Transformers so much. I mean, it's like, it's like um, they took a bunch of my friends from childhood and said, hey, we're going to set them on fire. And this is what you get. Optimus Prime will be a stone-faced killer. He'll rip people's faces off. He will murder people. Uh, anyway, for everything that's negative in the movie, there are positives. And like I said, I liked Soundwave, and I liked Laserbeak. I liked Sentinel Prime, too, even though, you know, I don't like any of their motivations. I'm not saying I like everything about them. I just like things about them. So, that being said, after a long tirade of stuff <laughs> coming out of my mouth, which doesn't move, look. Ta-da! Anyways... Today's review will be on the Transformers Dark of the Moon. Have I said that title enough? Soundwave. Yeah. You know what? You're probably saying, hey, why are you reviewing a figure that came out in 2011? Well, this figure was canceled here in the States, and I never saw it. I never ordered it, because when I did want to order it, it was, like, super mega expensive, so I never did shell out the money. Um... But I was talking to Feldsbug one day, and he mentioned, he said something about having an extra sound wave and an extra wheel jack. And so, he let me have them. And I was, I was shocked. Man, you're spoiling me. Thank you for spoiling me. Um, I think this is awesome, and I've been wanting this figure for a long time. Because like I said, this is, this is the one that I like the most. Him and Laserbeak stole the movie for me. Now, here's the sad part. I no longer have any more Dark of the Moon toys. I used to have a whole bunch of them including a really cool Sentinel Prime that I don't have anymore. Um, so now now I have Soundwave and Wheeljack. So that's awesome, but that's also kind of sucky too. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at the back of the package. Oh, Soundwave is evil. So here's the back of the package, and if you read the blurb, it says 8 minutes and 23 seconds in, and guess what? You still haven't talked about the figure much. Well, there he is. He looks awesome. And I know there are two versions of this figure. There's this one and the Human Alliance version. Now, that's another one I never saw, and I don't care which one I got, and I am very thankful to Felsbug for giving this to me, and I think it is awesome. If I had one gripe about this figure, aside from him, I mean, I think he looks great. If I had one gripe, it would be, I wish it didn't come with that red dish gun thing. I really like it. Don't get me wrong. But I wish it came with a little laser beak. Yeah, I'm going to try to find a loose uh, human alliance laser beak because I really did like that design. Even though his head looked like a giant robotic turkey, I still liked it. So yeah, let's look at the front one more time. So like I was saying, this version of Soundwave is a lot different than the one in the cartoon and the original comic books and stuff like that. I mean, this one's a stone-faced killer. I mean, look at him. He looks all evil and stuff like that. I mean, I guess it's pretty safe to say you can tell who the bad guys are because they all have sharp teeth and they kind of go blah, 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 and talk deep and stuff like that. Like I was saying, it's better to have a bad guy sometimes who doesn't act like a bad guy. Think about it. So I say we open him! So there's Soundwave fresh out of the package, and I hope you don't mind that I opened it, Felsbug, but I couldn't wait any longer. Now, I've had this figure for a few days now, and it's been driving me nuts, because I wanted to open it so bad. Because, I, like I said, I've been wanting this figure for a long time. He looks amazing! They even painted the rims, which they usually skip over. Um, I think he looks awesome. 
Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now he came with that little uh, radar dish gun thing. It's upside down right here because, you know, it's kind of hard to stand it up with that peg. But, uh, yeah, it's like a laser gun and then it turns into like a little radar dish. But that doesn't matter because this is what matters. Let's check him out from behind. Ooh, they even painted the taillights. You know what would make this figure even better? Ripple labels. I wonder if there's a ripple labels because I would love to have like a uh, I kill people for money bumper sticker or a license plate. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, one more time from the front. Now, speaking for someone who used to buy, you know, Transformers since the day they first came out, it is so weird to see licensed cars, you know, actual, this is an actual Mercedes, that is really neat. Uh, usually they were like sort of close to being like a real car, but they weren't, but you know what, it's awesome. I say we transform him! So far, so good! Well, there are his feet, I've got that part going, I'm still going! He's resting currently because this is a really hard toy to transform. I got his legs. I'm still going. So, after four days, nine hours, and 16 minutes, there's the full transformation of Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Check him out. He looks amazing. I say that about a lot of stuff, but trust me, this thing looks amazing. Now, a lot of reviews that I have seen say how hard the upper body is to transform. And I have to say, it's it's complicated. I wouldn't say it was hard. It's just, you really don't know if you're doing it right. Now, I didn't look at the instructions because I was on a time crunch and I was trying to do this while I'm making the review. So I watched um, Like It's 1985's review of Soundwave as he transformed him. And, you know, I, if he transformed them wrong, so did I. But don't blame us. We are playing with toys, like I've said before. And there he is. He looks amazing. So thank you for helping me like it's 1985. Um, check him out. Felsbuck, seriously. This is an awesome figure. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending him to me. And I'm so glad you had a double that you didn't want. He is amazing. I like him. I love that face. I do. And... A lot of people complain that, you know, he's kind of drab colored and stuff. And yes, he would have been awesome if he had had a lot of that silver mixed in, like on the Mercedes symbol or like on his legs. And if you look at the back of the package, honestly, you can tell that was their original plan. They were going to put like his upper legs there. You can tell are a little bit of silver and like the darker gray plastic. And, you know, I, I you know, that would have been really cool. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that because this just looks good. I do wish they wouldn't have been canceled here in the States, so I could have got them a long time ago. So I could have had them with the rest of my figures. But yeah, thank you, Felsbug, for giving me this one because he is amazing. Now, I did notice that he's a little back heavy, you know, because he's got those feet and stuff with no real back, you know, heels on his feet. Um, so he sort of falls over a lot. Unless you put that big heavy gun in his hand and then he stands up perfectly. So that's amazing. I love it. Plus, he needs that big gun to kill Wheeljack or Q, whatever his name is. The Einstein-looking robot. Um, don't get me started on his head. I don't know what they were thinking. Hey, here's an idea. All geniuses should look like Einstein. Well, I guess you're right. Um, but anyways, it's a good thing that I don't have Wheeljack, or else I would blow his head off. Oh, wait! Thanks to Felsbug, I do! So that's the review for the Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Now, originally, I was going to throw in Wheeljack at the end there and then, like, open him up and stuff like that. But, you know, this review went over by about a million minutes because I rambled. Obviously, I need to get out more. Oh, I wish I had a calendar. But anyways, seriously, this is a very cool figure. Thank you very much again to Felsberg. You know, a lot of people on YouTube like to always pimp out their their YouTube things and always like to say, hey, we are sponsored by so-and-so toys and so-and-so this and this comic book store really rules and stuff. Hey, you know what? I'm going to pimp out mine too. Felsbog, he's my main connection. Yeah! He sent me these for free. Ha! Beat that. So, pfft, to everyone out there who have sponsors. I don't need sponsors. I have friends. Ha! <laughs> anyway, that is a very cool sound wave and I really like him a lot. And I mean, check that out. And I cannot wait to open Wheeljack. Even though he looks like a really freaky uh, Albert, Einstein, uh, Albert Einstein zombie. Oh, he's scary looking. But yeah, blow his head off there, Wheeljack. Uh, I'm sorry, blow his head off there, Soundwave. I don't even know who I'm talking to anymore. I need to, like I said, I need to get out more. So thank you for watching this review. And I hope you had fun. And I may review Wheeljack in a minute. So 
Stay tuned and prepare to be terrified. Foo reviews. <laughs> and I couldn't live without showing Wheeljack and Laserbeak. Oh, that looks amazing.